what's up everyone? It's Steven here. So it's finally been leaked. The Harry Potter Hogwarts Express D to C set appears to have been officially leaked. And the story behind it is hilarious. So if you end up liking this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right in. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the image here, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Express direct-to-consumer set very much appears as though it has been leaked. So, Reddit user Legend of Tavon states that they had ordered the Lion Knight's Castle set, but were accidentally shipped this set by mistake by Lego, which is just hilarious. As a quick review, this is set 76405 Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition. It has 20 minifigs, is rumored to retail for about $500, and will be releasing next month in September. So first off, as you can tell from the front and back of the box, this is more of a display diorama type of set as opposed to a functional powered up train. We can see the display better on the back of the box where we see the partial build of platform nine and three quarters, as well as the track build that for some reason is reminding me of the Jurassic Park diorama set along with the Hogwarts Express here in the background. The train includes the steam engine, the coal car, and then one passenger car. On the bottom half of the box, we can see four highlighted scenes. Starting with the first movie, we have the initial meeting of Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger. Scene number two comes from the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban, and represents when the Dementors invade the train and Harry has his fainting spell, as Draco puts it. Then scene three comes from the sixth movie, where Luna Lovegood finds a stunned Harry after Draco hexes him. And then the final scene is from the eighth and last movie, specifically from the epilogue, where Harry and Jenny Potter are sending their youngest son off to Hogwarts for the first time. What I also think is a pretty fun detail is how the box demarcates which movies each of the figs comes from. So you have a little clapperboard with the number actually representing the movie, which to me is just kind of a fun, cool graphic that they included here. Okay, so as far as my thoughts... I'm honestly a little disappointed, and I hate being negative about any sets, because I think a lot of people really are going to love this set. So instead, I'll just kind of give you my quick first impression pros and cons. So starting with the pros, I do think this by far is the most impressive, display-worthy Hogwarts Express that they have done. I think this set actually compares quite a bit to the most recent Hogwarts Express set, but just looks way more polished, way more high-end. So I think people really will enjoy that aspect of this set. Another pro, it comes with lots of minifigs, 20 in total. I haven't went through them fig by fig to see how many new and exclusive figs there are going to be. The Dementor, at a minimum, looks to be reused from set 75495 Expecto Patronum, but all of the figs from the epilogue of Movie 8 are new and exclusive figs, so I'm thinking that those will be some very sought-after figures. As far as cons, for me, first is the value or just kind of the price. I don't look at this set and see a $500 set. It looks more like a maybe a $300 set. It just doesn't seem 
I don't know, substantial enough to warrant that price tag. I think the Lion Knight's Castle, for example, feels much more substantial when you look at it, and it's $100 cheaper. That's all assuming that the rumored $500 price tag is true, which I think it is. Also, it's just a diorama set, and one that I think is a little too similar to the current Hogwarts Express set as far as design. I've made it known on this channel in prior videos about this set that if they did do the Hogwarts Express again, my preference would have been for them to go all out in making it a powered up train set. Lots of tracks and more similar to the Disney train from a few years ago. Maybe you could have both King's Cross Station and the Hogsmeade Station maybe kind of set up diametrically and then have the track run between the two. I don't know. And I'll admit, selfishly, I was hoping this would be something that I could set up and have kind of run around my Christmas tree every single year. So I'm probably suffering from my own preset expectations and hopes for this set. But those are my two biggest cons for this set. But I want to know what you think of this set. Is it just an incredibly elaborate fake? Probably not. Are you going to get it? Hey, maybe this set will eventually grow on me. But I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.